Are you travelling to London and wondering how to pay for the London Underground? Let's discuss the ways that you can pay and the benefits of each payment method. Sit back, relax and let's get started. The London Underground, also known as the Tube, is London's rapid transportation system that spans throughout the whole city. There are 11 tube lines on the London Underground that have different unique names and are colour coded. The city is divided into nine zones. Zone one is central London and zone six to nine are on the outskirts of the city. So the first and most common payment method is what we call an Oyster card. The Oyster card can be used to travel on the underground, the bus, TfL rail lines, the overground and also DLR stations. All you have to do is touch in your Oyster card at the start of your journey on the yellow card reader but do remember to also touch out on the yellow card reader at the end of your journey. The second payment method is a contactless card. There is no doubt that in 2022 you have a contactless card, I hope. If you plan to use a pay-as-you-go payment method then a contactless card is a great alternative to an Oyster. If your bank card shows the contactless symbol in the top right hand corner then you are good to go and able to use the contactless card right away you will be charged an adult fare. Many contactless cards from outside the UK can also be used, but do bear in mind that you may incur transaction fees. I highly recommend to explore Monzo Bank or the equivalent to benefit from the unique advantages of owning a Monzo card. I will put the link in the description below. Using a mobile payment is the same as using a contactless card. You can use a mobile payment with devices such as your phone, your watch, a wristband, or other similar devices. The third way to pay for the London Underground is with a single or a return ticket. Purchasing a single or a return ticket can be the most expensive way to travel on the London Underground. However, this payment method can be very convenient for tourists or those not using the London Underground often. Or maybe you just don't have a contactless card. But seriously guys, it's 2022. Why do you not have a contactless card? The fourth payment method is using a travel card. A travel card in the zones that it is valid for will give you unlimited travel at any time using the Tube, the Bus, the DLR, the London Overground and most TfL rail stations. This is a great payment method if you will be combining multiple methods of transportation or possibly just travelling in and out of London frequently. Due to the length of time that the card is valid for, most commuting citizens travelling to London and out of London use this payment method. So if you are visiting London, can you still get an Oyster? A visitor Oyster card is one of the cheapest ways for a visitor to travel around the city. So as a tourist or a visitor to London, what payment method should you use on the London Underground? My advice is that if you are here for a short stay, a contactless card can be the quickest, cheapest and most convenient way to travel around the city, especially for those who are travelling from the UK. However, if you are travelling from out of the UK, or possibly just here for a longer stay, then I highly recommend to purchase an Oyster card to avoid the foreign exchange fees. Or possibly you could just get a Monzo bank and use your contactless card. However, do bear in mind, if you have more than £10 on your Oyster card, you are unable to get a refund for this at the ticket machine. So therefore, you will need to apply and get the refund via post. Either way, I hope you have found this to be useful and you are now confident and ready to travel on the London Underground. Please do see my previous videos on how to use the London Underground and the best apps to download before visiting London in 2022. If you have any experiences of paying for the Tube or even using the Tube, then please do let me know in the comments down below. And lastly, please do like and subscribe to show support to this channel. See you in the next one.